So you're moving to a new school district and now you're freaking out because all of the work that you put into setting up your Google Classroom courses is going to be wasted. Maybe not. Let's take a look at how you can move your existing Google Classroom courses from one school district to another. Hi, my name is John Sawash. I help teachers and students use Google products in the classroom. Now the steps that I'm about to outline for you are very easy. However, you may need to work with your IT department to ask them to enable some of the things that you're gonna need so that you can transfer your Google Classroom course from one district to another. To begin, go ahead and log into your Google Classroom account and pick a class that you want to transfer. I'm gonna work with this world history class over here. I'm gonna open up the class. I'm going to go to the People tab, and I'm going to invite either my personal Gmail account or my new Google Workspace account if you're transferring to another school or district. I'm going to invite that account to be a co-teacher. So I'm going to click the plus button, type in my email address, and send that invitation. Now, there's a chance that you're going to get an error message right here. And if it says, sorry, you're unable to invite a person from this domain, that's when you're going to have to talk with your IT department and ask them to open up Google Classroom so you can invite external uh, co-teachers. It's easy to do, but uh, you'll have to have that conversation with them. Once I've sent that invitation, I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, the other account that I just invited. I'll see the invitation come in. I'm going to click Accept. And immediately, I'm not going to do anything in the class. I'm just going to go right back to the home screen, click on the snowman, and I'm going to immediately make a copy of the class. That will transfer all of the assignments, instructions, directions, and related class resources from the original account to the new one that I've just transferred it to. And now I have access to all of the things even after I leave the district, they delete or shut down my account, I'll still have a copy of this. Now those of you who are concerned about the, the student data privacy implications of this, it actually works out very well. When you make a copy of the class, it does not copy the students, the student grades, comments, it doesn't copy any student information, only the information that the teacher has added to the class. Uh, immediately after you make a copy of that class in your IT department, they can watch you do this if they want, um, you can go ahead and remove yourself from the original. That data all goes back to um, the host district. You just have a copy with no student information in it, and your IT department can change the settings back uh, to the way they were um, if they want. So there's my copy. Looks good. I'm going to go ahead and remove and say leave class. So I no longer have access to the original with all the student information in it, and I just have my copy. Now, right now, this copy is in my personal Gmail account. When I get hired at a new district, um, I'll need to repeat this process again. I'm going to go ahead and invite my new school account to this copy, and then make a copy in the uh, um, domain that I've been hired into. And now you move to class from one domain to the next. Now, if this isn't possible, maybe your IT department isn't comfortable with making this change and hope is not lost. There are a few other options as well. This is certainly the easiest way to retain all of your course content, but there are two Google products that you can also look at using. One is called Google Transfer and the other is called Google Takeout. And these will both allow you to move your existing Google data from Drive, Gmail, Calendar, Photos, YouTube, um, from your school account to a new account. Um, unfortunately, it's not quite as easy with Google Classroom, but at least you'll be able to get the underlying Drive data, all of your lesson templates, your Jamboard files, your emails, and other things uh, as well. I'm going to link to a video that I put together on how to transfer your data using uh, the Takeout uh, product and Google Transfer. You can look at that, and between the three options here, you'll be able to work something out where you can move your account information from your old district to your new district. Best of luck on your new position. I wish you well and have a great school year.